independent sample t-test is a statistical method used to determine if there is a significant difference between the mean of two independent groups. Imagine you want to know if there is a difference in exam scores between two classes, class A and class B. You collect the scores from 10 students in each class and perform an independent sample t-test to compare the average scores. If the test shows a significant difference, you might conclude that one class performed better on the exam than the other. If there is no significant difference, you conclude that the performance of the two classes is similar. Before doing independent sample t-test, you must check these assumptions. Each observation must be independent of the others. This means the data point in one group should not be related to the data point in the other group. The data in each group should be approximately normally distributed. This assumption can be checked using graphical method such as QQ plots or statistical test like Shapiro Wilk test. The variance of the two groups should be approximately equal. Let's build research question and hypothesis according to our example. We can build research questions like this. Is there a significant difference in scores between group 1 and group 2? So, according to our research question, we can build our hypothesis like this. So, our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in the mean score between group 1 and group 2. Alternative hypothesis is there is a significant difference in the mean score between group 1 and group 2. Let's see how to perform independent sample t-test using SPSS. This is our grouping variable and this is our score variable and go to analyze, click compare means and go to independent sample t-test and put score into test variable box and group into grouping variable box and define your groups. So I will put one in group one box. I will put two in group two box and click continue and click OK. This is the output results for independent sample t-test. Let's interpret it. This output represents the results of the independent sample t-test which is used to compare the means of two independent groups to determine if there is a statistical significant difference between them. So in here, Levin's test check if the variance of the two groups are equal. A significant value greater than 0.05 indicates that the variance are equal. For Levine's test, the significant value is 1, indicating that the variance of the two groups are equal. Let's interpret the t-test results. Since the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is a statistical significant difference between the mean of group 1 and group 2. The mean difference of minus 7 indicates that the one group's mean is 7 points lower than the other group's mean. And the 95% confident interval for the mean difference does not include 0 because our confident interval values are minus 9.3062 to minus 4.694. So there is no zero between them. Further supporting the conclusion that there is a significant difference between the groups. Therefore, there is a significant difference between the mean of the two groups.